Chef. We in bed style right now. This is the hood right here. Tampons, condoms, cigarettes, duchess, play lotto, buy newspaper. I want you to give them a CD. All right. All right. He heard the CD and he was like, Y'all can't get past track number three. And track number three happens to be Vaughn. So he passed the uh, music to me. And the first thing that I noticed was that it was true to the history of hip-hop, particularly as it pertains to Beverly Stuyvesant. When we look at the icons in the game, from Big E to Jay-Z, there is a signature sound that comes out of Brooklyn. And Brooklyn currently is going through some sort of renaissance, something close to what Harlem went through maybe 50, 60 years ago. But now it's a bit more diverse. And what has occurred is that hip-hop has turned into hip-hop. But what Vaughn represented in the music was a pure sound that really would be appropriate in the 80s, 90s, in the 2000s and beyond. So I was very excited about the purity of the music and what that represented. Rest in peace to Trayvon Martin. Rest in peace to my boy, Jason Bostic, AKA J High. April 6th is J Day, baby. We doing this for you, baby. We doing this for Best Style, baby. <laughs> <laughs>